Good day. A lot of stuff going on. Interesting times, isn't it? Yeah, what happens in Germany, I think, is very interesting. Chemnitz, this town in Germany, and other areas, there are protests. If you haven't watched the videos, I recommend it. It's very powerful. And uh, it reminds me of what happened in East Germany back in 1989 just before the Soviet Empire fell. Now this is of course different because all the Germans are not in agreement about mass immigration. So you have the Germans protesting and then you have the Antifa type groups and the migrant groups trying to stop them. So maybe this is the spark that we have been anticipating in Germany. And then, of course, you have the, the German government trying to silence these protesters. And you have the stupid mainstream media trying to portray them as far right. You know, yeah, very interesting what's happening in Germany. And then you have this uh, fascinating conflict between Macron, the French president, on one side, and then Orban and Salvini on the other side. Orban and Salvini met on Tuesday and they said, Macron, he's the guy, he's the person trying to flood this continent with mass immigration. Yeah, that's what they said. Not in those words, but really, they made him the target. And now there is a comment from Macron. He said, they are right. I am their main opponent. I will not give in to nationalists and to those who defend hate speech. And then he said this, I find this very, very interesting. He says, this implies seriousness and a spirit of responsibility, remaining faithful to our values, such as the right to asylum, with a true policy both towards the countries of origin and the EU. He didn't say France. Take a note of this. Yeah, the EU, he says. Yeah, and he's got a problem in France. He's the president of France. Yeah, he was elected by the French citizens. But it doesn't seem to, he doesn't seem to care if the French hate him because he's on a mission, that's what I think. He is uh, just running on orders from the Rothschilds and others. Uh, and his mission is to flood this continent, all the countries, with refugees or invaders. You see, that's what I think. And he says, uh, this is not what Orban and Salvini are proposing. A strong opposition is growing between nationalists and progressives in Europe. So he's making himself the head guru of progressiveness, which means no borders, no nations, and a lot of fucking refugees. Okay, the Italian minister, interior minister, Matteo Salvini, commented on this. He made this fantastic comment. He said, Macron's main opponent, polls in hand, is the French people. This is beautiful. This is exactly right. But as I said, Macron doesn't seem to care. He just want to get on with it and do as much harm as he possibly can before he is removed one day. This asshole, Macron. Fun it's fascinating, that's what I think. And, um, yeah. And then another story that I want to tell you, and this is about Trump. I just like this guy very, very much. I do. The ruling African National Congress, they passed this bill some time ago, which made it right to confiscate land owned by white farmers in South Africa. You know the story. And um, uh, Trump tweeted about this, you know, 
He said, I will look into this. And six days later, the South Africans withdrew this uh, redistribution bill. <laughs> it's fantastic. Six days. <laughs> That's very quick, isn't it? Yeah. All that was needed was Trump saying that, yes, I will uh, study this <laughs> situation. <laughs> yeah, I love it. And finally, I want to tell you a story from Sweden. Uh, you know, the party that I voted for, Alternative for Sweden, they are touring Sweden in all these towns and they make rallies and they do videos and they post all these videos on their YouTube channel. Right? Very, very good ones. Uh, these videos are now gone. Uh, YouTube just took them down. And I know the Swedish interior minister, Morgan Johansson, Johansson, a long time ago he had a talk with Google about things like this. Uh, it's getting rough, isn't it? Yeah. These videos, by the way, are still available on YouTube. Others made sure that you have access to them. But on the Alternative for Sweden channel, they are gone. Yeah. Alright. See you later. Bye.